Hi, welcome to a quick unboxing video of the Optica Speed Grid, uh, the one quarter speed grid. It's a light modifier, honeycomb grid, as you can see there, for speed lights or flash guns. I have here the Canon 430 EX2 and the Young New, Young New I can never say this, the YN460 here. Now, these are the two speed lights which I use. And what this will do, it will give you a nice tight beam of light and to control exactly where light's going to hit, say on a model, on a person or on a subject or object. Um, I've recently got this from Amazon for £12.95 I think it was, it's from a marketplace seller, I can't remember the name of. Um, I went with this over the Honol version because they cost £25 and then they want an extra £8 for the um, for the speed strap to fit it, which I think is quite scandalous. Honol, quite frankly, it's an absolute rip-off. So, I've given this one a try. You can make your own DIY grids out of black straw, some some cardboard, and I will probably have a go at doing that myself, um, just so I can compare the two and see which one that I prefer. I mean, if my DIY ones work just as well, then no big loss. You know, it's only twelve pounds. So we'll have a quick look at what we get in the box of this. So I'll just move the speed lights to one side, and we'll see what we get. Fairly simple modifier. I'll try and keep this in focus because I'm shooting on the 500D. Bring that out. There's no instructions with it. Um, it just gives you what's included in the box and the specifications on the back of it there. And quite solid construction. Okay, fairly solid plastic. I mean, if you're going to make this yourself, you you probably end up making this out of cardboard. You know, a couple of rolls of cardboard and some black uh, duct tape or gaffer's tape to uh, hold it all together. So, we'll just excuse the velcro noise. Take this out. This is the speed strap or fitting strap. I mean, what do they call it on this actually? The clinch band. Okay. Uh, which you actually fit it to the flash gun with. And if we have a look through this here, okay, we'll actually be able to see the effects of a grid. Now here you can see the white background or the light reflecting off it. As I start to turn the grid, okay, you will see now that starts to actually go darker up until the point where we can see no light there. So we have light coming through and then it goes darker and fades off there. So we can actually control where the light's going to hit and how much of the light's going to hit. We could feather this off a subject, for example, and have a little bit hitting. I'll control exactly where we want the light to go. This is why these things are so good. I've used them recently in the studio, slightly larger ones, um, to great effect. I'll show you some images shortly. And I'll go and shoot some images with this. Um, apologies for the subject matter, it's going to be pictures of me, um, but just to see what results that we get. So we'll just quickly fit this now to one of the speed lights. Um, I have tried it with both. It does fit on this one as well, the YN460, but we'll just do the one for the moment. So, Canon 430 EX2, get the fitting strap. Okay, I'll just fit this around the flash head. Doesn't have to go any particular location on the flat head, on the flash head. Now, one thing I have noticed is you do have to pull this quite tight. I mean, I've got all the Velcro clips here. That bit inside is actually rubber or leather. So that's not going to stick to it. These Velcro tabs I've put on myself is for coloured gels. And we'll pull that quite tight and then strap that onto there. Okay. Sorry if this is going slightly out of focus. It's a problem with shooting with DSLRs. Okay. And then the actual grid and then <laughs> grab hold of this of the strap and pull it off completely. Let's try that again. There we go. Let's put that back on. That's a fail, isn't it? Okay. And then it, you can just mate it up to the flash head and then pull the strap down. What I tend to do to fit this is hold on to the flash head like so, I'll get my hand around it if I can do, and then pull that tight and just stick it down on the edge there so it's going to hold it on against the flash head as best as possible. 
Um, it will be a little bit loose, it does, it's not a clip-on fit, but it will certainly do the job because what it's going to do is control that light okay, as it fires through, um, so rather than light just going everywhere. So I'll go and take some pictures with this now, um, just to see what kind of effects that we can get, and I'll also show you that image that I shot in a studio recently using a, I think it was a 30 degree grid, on a studio light. Okay, just to give you a little bit of a better idea, um, what I've just figured out how to do is to show you the light pattern. Now I'm using the head torch here, uh, which is why you can't really see anything at the moment. Now if we look at the pattern of light on this paper here, it's okay, it's got a hot spot around here and kind of fades off, but it is illuminating this whole area. Now if I pull it through this grid, okay, I'll have to just, just move this up a little bit, and you see it's a much tighter pattern of light. So that's you know, how it cuts down the uh, the light that you're getting or controls the beam of light so it really focuses that beam of light rather than the light just being allowed to kind of go everywhere so we'll get to those images that I've shot with it Doing acrobatics, moving from the matter in the air You wouldn't believe what I saw A lady in a turban looking at her future telling devices And she said Ma'am, you shouldn't be here The time isn't right 